Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how to bring product usage data from your app or really any other third-party source into your HubSpot CRM. If you're running onboarding or customer success in HubSpot, this is probably one of the big questions that you have is how do you bring in this data when if you're to use a CS platform or another customer success specific tool, that's something that gets touted a lot. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we do it at Arrows using a product called High Touch in four quick steps. So the first thing to talk about is High Touch. What is High Touch? High Touch is a reverse ETL. Essentially, it lets you query your app database and then push that data to any destination that you'd like. So we have some models here, which are essentially just queries of our database. We then have destinations, which is HubSpot in this case. And then we have syncs, which is essentially any time that we're moving data between High Touch and HubSpot. So how does that come into HubSpot? First, we have a base record. We have a reference between our database and HubSpot. So we have a property in HubSpot for the ID of a customer in our database. Once we have that ID, we can then use it to sync data to that record. So here we're pulling in number of arrows plans created, number of plans created this month, which comes from a query, plan allowance. So what subscription is this customer on? How many plans can they use? How many customers have they created? How many team members do they have? And are they on a free plan or not? So this is on a company record. You could also do this with a contact record. The reason that we do it this way is because companies are similar to accounts in the arrows data model, but then we use this workflow to take that data, which we're pulling from our app onto the company record and push it onto deal records. You could equally do this with tickets as well, or really any other record that is associated with your base record. So what that looks like on the deal, we now have those exact same properties that we can use to see how active is this customer? Are they about to hit a limit? And to get into some use cases for having product data in HubSpot. Here we have a calculated property, which is essentially a consumption property, which is really helpful for measuring health of an account or measuring activation and adoption. When you get to the end of onboarding, for example, like maybe you completed all the steps in your plan, but did the customer actually do the things that you want them to do? Something we see pretty commonly is if you're billing by team member, is the customer actually using all the seats that they've paid for? This would give you that number. Equally, if you have as I mentioned, all the steps in your onboarding plan in a pipeline in HubSpot. You may also want to have an activated stage, which you can update with a workflow based on that plan utilization or consumption percentage number that I showed based on some threshold. The really powerful thing about having uh, app data or product usage data in HubSpot is that you can combine it with other HubSpot data to do all sorts of interesting things like send email based on product usage to report on product usage plus activities that your team are taking to drive that usage. I wouldn't say that it's a replacement for a dedicated product analytics tool like a mix panel or a June or an amplitude or something like that. But if your customer team is working in HubSpot, having product data easily accessible in the same place that you can combine with all the other data that you have about your customer from outside the product is really powerful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can dive into any of this in more detail, but thanks so much for watching.